Hi friends, it's Carolyn Zick here with CZUK Stitch and today is Tuesday, July 14th, 2020. I am going to do a flip through of the July issue of the World of Cross Stitching. I do have a subscription to this magazine. I just renewed it. Um, there were several issues in a row where um, I gave away actually on uh, my channel my regular floss tubes just because there isn't much that I would want to stitch and then my very last issue there were several items that I wanted to stitch so I did renew it for another year uh, so I'm not I, I'm actually not sure if this one is still um, using up the rest of my old subscription or part of the new but I thought I would do a flip through and I'm going to be giving this away at um, the end of this video and there's another little chart I'm not sure where it went that I'll be giving away as well on this video so stay tuned if you would like to win that like I said this is the July issue this is a British magazine you can get subscriptions or digital subscriptions which are less expensive than the paper I do like the paper ones um, I think they're really pretty you can also sometimes get these at places like Barnes & Noble um, I know that they sell them sometimes grocery stores. My grocery store doesn't sell them here in Portland, but um, or I haven't seen them anyway, but some grocery stores may sell them. So let's jump into it. So this is a summer issue. So there's a lot of fun summer colors and, and charts. So first up is Furry Tales. So every... Um, Every issue, they have a Furry Tales collectible chart. So every single issue. And this is this month's. Very cute. I've um, covered up the chart here. So it's very sweet, very cute, probably pretty quick to stitch. Flossy Mouse, she's called. Okay, so here is this chart, and this is the one that I need to find so I can give it away. So it is a separate chart that came with the magazine. It's uh, a f like a free gift you also get with uh, this magazine, but the chart also is in here. So if you don't win the standalone chart, you will still get this cute little garden shed, gardening shed. I think it's really sweet. It is designed by Siobhan Harris. I think that's really cute. And you could easily change the colors to match your decor or um, your own gardening shed if you have one. This is, should take about 15 hours to complete. I've never tested that. Um, they, they do give the approximate stitching time. I've never tested to see if they um, are accurate. So this next design is by Kay Widowson. It's called Welcome to Paradise and talk about great summer colors. Look at that toucan and all those beautiful flowers around them. I think that would be so pretty. And you know, those flowers you could use up, you know, if you have some leftover skeins of floss, bits and, and whatnot, um, you could use, use it up in that way for the flowers. This says it'll take about 40 hours. It's very cute. And then the charts, the charts are in color and they do have a lot of kind of focus on readers so this is all about letters and pictures that readers have sent in so it's kind of a fun way to connect and see what other people are doing you know kind of around the world really so this next design this is under the traditional sampler section it's called fit for king by jenny vandeville and it is this castle and um it's kind of light but there's an alphabet at the bottom Uh, this says it will take about 48 hours to stitch. So there is a big alphabet and numbers as well at the bottom. This next one is a design by Amanda Gregory. Um, this is um, an eyeglasses case. I think this is really, really sweet. It's a little case and then you, it gives you instructions on how to make it into an eyeglass case so you can if you use readers or something for your stitching like I do, uh, you can make that and keep your readers in it in your stitching bag. I think that would be really sweet. And then this next chart is going to be difficult to show you because it's mostly the chart. But every issue they have a an alphabet. Um, and this is the sun, sea, and sand alphabet. 
It's designed by Jenny Barton, and this will give you a good idea. So they took letters from the alphabet, spelled out beach, and put it on a towel. But um, the charts that follow, it's the whole alphabet. So you can spell out whatever you want. You can spell out summer, summer fun. That might be cute. Um, and with all the little designs, I think that's really, really sweet. But I can't show you the rest of them because they're just the charts. So it is nice that every issue they do have an alphabet chart of some sort. Okay, another another thing they do every issue is Wishes Granted, um, where a reader sends in, you know, can you, I'm looking for a Border Collie, for example, can you, um, draw, you know, design something for me. And so they'll, they'll design, I put this paw print sticky, I thought it was appropriate, over the chart so you can see the chart. But, um, yeah, so they will um, design a chart for you based on your request. And this one is 27 high by 30 wide. So they're just little small designs. So I think that's sweet. And that's, that's always fun because some of the requests are um, really fun to see. And they have, you know, techniques and all that. So this one is called per Picture of Perfection. It's by Maria Diaz. And it uh, takes 60 hours to complete. And it's a just an image of Japan and Japanese culture. Really, really, really pretty. I love cherry blossoms so much. So that's a beautiful one. And I saw that next month they're going to have a companion piece to it. Uh, so you can look for that in the uh, August issue. Okay, and they give you little tidbits on how to use metallics and all of that. Okay, so this next section, um, and they also have a similar section in every issue about, you know, just kind of small, very, very small ideas. So this, the theme for this month is Up and Away. And it's 43 airborne ideas. And they're just little small airplanes. So if you have somebody in your life who loves airplanes or flying, or you can see there's balloons right here, there's kites over here, this might be great. And you can see how different the styles are, right? So there should be something for everybody. Like this is very cartoonish, right? That might be great for a little kid. Um, this might be great for you know, somebody who's big into flying. And then they also give you ideas of what you can do with them. So making cards or gift tags, bookmarks, a little easel, little pencil toppers. That's a little um, pencil bag. So very cute ideas. And there's more. There's a total of 43 of these small ideas. But again, uh, the rest are just the charts. So I can't show those to you. It's a really pretty hot air balloon. Uh, if you like hot air balloons, it's a really pretty one. Kites, balloons, more balloons, lots of planes, some birds, another hot air balloon, a skydiver is in here, helicopter, a drone. There is a picture of a drone. Okay, so this next project is called Let the Fun Begin, and it's all about carnival um, or carnival themed party cards. So, oh, and the designer is Cheryl McKinnon. So look at these beautiful bright colors. Pretty simple designs, but so beautiful, so much packed into each of these little designs. They have them all made as cards but you, of course, could make them into whatever you want. A little picture on a frame or anything you want. Quick stitch cards is what they are. All right, and then the next section is just kind of best buys, so things to look out for. This next one is designed by Ian Hollows. It's Sweet Little Sleepyhead, so it's a burr sampler, and I think it's so precious and sweet. Look at that. I just like, I love how simple it is. I love how at the top, the font, I like the font. I like how streamlined and simple it is. 
very, very sweet. A lot of stitching though. You know, that blanket is more, mostly full coverage. The crib, I mean, I, I think like this whole area is full coverage, but it's very sweet. It says it takes approximately 44 hours to st stitch that. All right. Next is, this one is called Time to Craft by Diane Machen. And it's a, it's a, like a inspirational sampler. It says, see the value of a moment before it becomes a memory. It has really, really fun colors. And they made it as a wall hanging, a really cute, sweet wall hanging, which wouldn't take much, you know, fabric to do. So that's a good idea. Right, and then I think, oh, one more. This is called Tropical Treats by Doreen Jones. And this is, um, these are little blocks of flowers. Now they made them into pockets for placemats. And of course, again, you don't have to. These would be really sweet cards or um, just little, you could do them all in one piece of fabric and make a really pretty um, picture with them. So it's just the, the actual pockets that you get. And it says each one takes 10 to 12 hours to do. They are about 20, 40 by 60-ish. And it does give you instructions on how to make your own placemats over here. I think that might be it. There's a crossword puzzle in here. And then it gives you a highlight of what's coming next month. Oh, here I can show you the, the um, Japanese oops, one that I said had a companion piece. That's what it will look like. And that will be coming in next month's issue. I think that's it. That is it. And in the back of every issue, they have a how to stitch kind of guide for you as well. So I am going to give this away. And how we're going to do it is if you would like, if you would like to win this, say something about July. Really simple. Just say something about July in a sentence. And I will draw. I know a lot of people don't, aren't interested in watching the flip throughs, which is perfectly fine. Um, it just means a better chance for those of you who do want to watch them. Um, I do get feedback that uh, the people who like these really do like them to help them decide if they want to purchase the the magazine or not before before buying it. And I'm gonna find the other the chart the freebie chart and that will I'll give away on my other not my other channel same channel but in a regular floss too. But for this one, say something about July. I'll leave it open for about a week until next Tuesday or Wednesday and I will draw and what I'll do because I'm not going to necessarily film another video just putting that out I will just reply to your comment um, if you are the winner so good luck don't say anything about giveaway or winning um, just to keep the trolls away and I think that's it for today so thank you so much for watching take care bye